Let's bring in Jared Bernstein, Chairman of the President's uh, Council of Economic Advisors. Uh, Jared, uh, uh, thanks for joining us. It's good to, to see you this morning. What, what is the message that you're bringing us today, as you do, uh, uh, from uh, all the, the President and all of his men? What, what, do you wanna, what point do you want to make? And then we'll talk men about some of, the, some of the other uh, men and women. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, let's start with uh, uh, Jan, who's uh, a great economist. I know you have Jan on frequently. He's a prize-winning forecaster. The reason he gave for uh, the markdown from 20 to 15 percent, which, by the way, 15 percent is the unconditional probability of a recession at any given time, uh, were three factors, uh, encouraging news on inflation, favorable real income, which, of course, is related to encouraging news on inflation, and what uh, they call over at Goldman uh, the closing of uh, the job worker gap, meaning kind of cooling in the labor market, realigning supply and demand. So I think the overall macro message from our uh, space is that Bidenomics in action is helping, it's working, it's helping to build the economy from the bottom up and the middle out, uh, and, and the tight labor market, better realigned, as Jan suggested, the tight labor market is now supporting real wage gains, that is wages beating prices, that feeds into disposable income, consumer spending, and you have this virtual cycle that I think led to Goldman's downgrade. We had uh, a couple of former senators on, Judd Gregg and, and Heidi Heitkamp, and I mentioned some of the, just some of the, the things that are out in the, the morning uh, papers, uh, Jared. And I guess, you know, I don't want you to just shoot the messenger. I guess the Journal and the, uh, the, the New York Post are both uh, Rupert Murdoch-owned entities. That's probably uh, the excuse that I always hear. But here's the cover of the, of the Washington Post. LIBOR in day, and he just talked about how the president c constantly talks about cutting the deficit when in fact it's going to be two trillion, double last year, and the cuts that he did make are, are based on uh, on cutting from the pandemic level. So it, it's kind of disingenuous. All that taken together, it leaves a very sour taste in most people's mouths, Jared. If you do, and it, we talk about it all the time. You say people. If you ask them individually about certain things, they're more optimistic. But only one third, consistently, of Americans think, buy into your contention that Bidenomics is working. So you got to come okay, on. Well, you might maybe you need to come on every day because it's not working. <laughs> your message. Well, uh, I, uh, I certainly don't have the uh, luxury of doing that. But let me uh, talk a little bit about Bidenomics and people's sentiment about it. I think the polls that you're reflecting are oftentimes very much 30 or 40,000 feet up. I'm not discounting them, by the way. I know they're real. But I want to tell you a little bit about some poll results that ask about the specific components of Bidenomics, okay? 82% support capping insulin costs for seniors at $35 a month. 81% support giving Medicare the power to negotiate for lower prescription drugs, which, by the way, is now very much in the system, and it's helping to reduce the deficit. The other point you just raised, it cuts the deficit by $100 billion over 10 years. 79% support providing tax incentives to create more manufacturing jobs. 800,000 manufacturing jobs since this president has got here, and some really great investment indicators with investment coming off the sidelines. 77% support capping out-of-pocket costs on prescription drugs. That's also coming into play. Now, look, my point is that you can barely get Americans, 80% of Americans, to agree on anything. And here they are, line after line, agreeing about the importance of the components of, uh, of Bidenomics. So I think it's uh, an, inaccurate a, a, an inaccurate narrative to declare that somehow Bidenomics isn't working or that it's not uh, uh, favorably received by people when you drill down into what it actually is.